I've been using this hack for the last 10 years and it works. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no one Hey guys, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I've been on here. I've been doing other things. I just wanted to quickly hop on for an impromptu video um, because the other day I got on Instagram live for the first time and I was super nervous, but I had glued some hair into my hair like super fast because I just wanted to look presentable and I did not use any protectant or cap or anything. I just glued that shit right onto my head. <laughs> so I'm left with this my carding looks awful also but i wanted to show you guys a hack that i've been using for like the last 10 years to remove hair glue out of my hair if you guys know about that shampoo and conditioner from sally's that shit don't work and it always leaves the glue like super goopy and it takes out a lot of your hair when you're trying to comb it out so i accidentally found this hack a while back and um, because I had been researching and it said to use olive oil and I didn't have any olive oil at the time But what I did have was some heat protectant spray that had olive oil in it. So I was like Let me give this a go and y'all I've been using this hack for the last 10 years and it works Okay, so I have been using the silk elements olive heat protectant spray to remove my hair glue And when I tell you this works it works. So all you're gonna do is spray this all over your hair where the glue is you're gonna let it set for about 20 to 30 minutes and then you're gonna literally take your comb and you're gonna gently brush it out for some reason the heat protectant just kind of like makes the glue kind of this like drier consistency so when you brush it out it literally just falls out of your hair it does not get goopy it just falls out but I do recommend you doing this like on the bathroom floor or like a hard floor um, so it doesn't get stuck in your carpet or anything like that so I am going to go ahead and spray this all in my hair, let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then I will come back and I will show you guys how I brush it out and how easy it is. Like, I'm telling you, it's foolproof. So make sure you completely saturate your hair, leave it on for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then comb it out. So I'm going to let this sit, and then I'll be right back to show you guys how easy it is to comb this out. I'll be right back. So I'm now in my bathroom, and you can see how it is already not hard how it was. I have been massaging my hair through while this has been sitting. So if you can see the glue here. See, it's already starting to just kind of fall out. So I sprayed it one more time for good measure. Just kind of massage it through. And then I'm just gonna take this comb right here and I'm gonna start combing it gently. You can already see it starting to slide out. See how it just kind of falls out like that? It's just gonna start to fall out. See? It's gonna just start falling out. And you can see here, it's mostly blue, not your hair.
next side, you can see it's starting to dry out a little so you can add more spray to it before you start to comb it out. So I just want to show you on this right here is all the hair that came out. Super easy. So now I'm just going to go double wash my hair. I usually wash it about two times, three every once in a while, just depending on how much oil is in there. And then I'm going to condition it, let the conditioner sit for about five minutes, still comb it out just to make sure if there's any excess glue in there that I missed, just comb that out and it'll be just like new. So I'm going to go ahead and wash it out and I will show you guys after how I got it all out. Yeah, I will be right back. Hey you guys, I am back. I am not looking so crusty and dusty anymore. Um, I went ahead and I washed out the heat protectant spray out of my hair. I did do a double wash and then I put the conditioner in. I left it on for the entirety of my shower. Um, and then I went ahead and I just combed out any excess glue that was in my hair. It fell right out. There was no shedding, no hair fallout, nothing like that. Honestly, there was probably less hair in there than like you normally would lose um, in the shower, but of course, I don't really have a whole lot to lose but anyways it was super easy I will say that when I initially put the tracks of hair in my head and I used the hair glue I did flatten my hair down with some got to be glued spray because I was in a rush and I just wanted to hurry up and lay flat and dry I do not recommend that I would normally use like a moisturizing hold jam or something like that um, but again, I was in a rush, so I didn't do that. That usually makes it a lot easier for the glue to just slide on out. But because I used the Got To Be Glued spray, it kind of added like an extra layer of glue onto there. So it did take a little bit more effort to brush it out than it normally would have. Um, it really only took about 10 minutes to get it all out. Normally it takes like five. So again, don't put <laughs> Got To Be Glued on your hair first before you use hair glue, okay? I learned my lesson. Anyway. So this method works really, really good. I have linked the spray. Again, it's the Silk Elements Olive Heat Protectant Spray. I have linked that down below for you guys. So please let me know if you try it out. It's such a good hair hack um, for the removal of hair glue. Um, I've been using it for 10 years and like, look, curls still popping. I didn't lose any hair. Well, very, very minimal hair. Um, so yeah, it works really well. Anyways, thank you guys as always for being here. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you get alerted every time I upload a new video. And as always, have a blessed day.